Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and I am back for day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas projects. So I hope you've all been having a good time with them. I know I sure have, based on the, jeez, uh, hundreds of comments that I've gotten on my blog. It sounds like you guys have all been enjoying them, and I am so, so glad that my Christmas gift to you all has been well received. Um, I have just, like I said, I've been having a great time. It's also been a great challenge for me trying to come up with these. I didn't have this all planned well in advance. I'm not a big planner. I'm kind of a on the fly, spur of the moment kind of girl, which is crazy because my mom is like the ultimate planner. She needs to know everything like weeks in advance. So obviously I didn't get it from her. Anyway, so it's been tons of fun coming up with these projects. Now this one is a... Um, based on a project that I did for Bana over at Du Shabby Chic. And I apologize to her if she's seeing this. I pronounced her name Bona, and I found out it's actually Bana. So I apologize for mispronouncing her name. Um, but this was how I did the binding in her um, swap album that I sent her that had the haunted house. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go ahead and watch that video um, that had... Um, it's similar to this one I've got going on. It had these little almost pocket-like things that this accordion fold that then things slipped into. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and make that for my day 11 to show you how I do did that that binding in that book. Um, you're going to start out with a piece of cardstock or paper that is the width that you want your finished whatever is going to insert into these little pockets. Uh, plus half an inch. So if I want these four and a half inches, um, if I want my finished uh, project to be like four or four and a half inches, I'm going to make these five inches wide. So this page will be five inches wide. At one end, you're going to do a score that's a half an inch in, and then you're going to score it every one inch. I make these ten and a half inches. To get five um, pages in it, I need to do two of them. So you'll score them every one inch. I did them the first time at half inch and it wasn't quite deep enough. So then you're going to just accordion fold it. I've already had this one scored and folded obviously. So you're going to just create an accordion fold like so. Here's that half inch and this is what you're going to use to attach it down um, to your book. Then to create the little pockets, you're going to separate these into pairs of the folds. So out of each 10 and a half inch strip, you're going to get two pairs plus a single. So that's why you need two of them because each of them is two pairs plus a single. So if I fold this guy up and we put them together, there's the first pair for one page, two page. They come together, the two pieces come together, three page, four page, five page. Now I've done this um, two different ways in that there are times where on this back side I've stuck each fold together. It doesn't much matter whether I have found whether you do or not so it's up to you as to whether you want to do that. But what you're going to do next is you're going to take a pair and I've already done it on this one. You're going to take a pair and you're going to punch it with a, either a hole punch or your crocodile, and you're going to come in about of a quarter of an inch, and you're going to do that on each end. So there's the first pair. I'll do it again. Actually, I do it with two pairs together, so that's what I got here, so that my holes line up. So do it not just a single pair. Do two pairs or two um, folds together. Punch your holes. Do the next two holes, two pairs together. Punch your holes. I take this last single fold and take the one from the other side. Hence is why this one's not punched. Punch those together and continue on down. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two pairs, put them together that I just punched holes, and then you can easy, use either brads. And I didn't bring my brads over. Oh, I'm not together. Where, is it? Where are they at? Here they are. Sorry. Okay. Got my brads. I got them out. Just didn't bring them over to the table that I do my videos at. Okay, so I'm going to take a brad. Putting those pairs together. Put a brad through there. And see how that's going to hold that close. You can also do it. Now I have eyelets over here already. You could also do it with eyelets. And I'm not going to push this one through and just punch your eyelet in. 
than with your crocodile. So you could do it with eyelets. I've also thought it would be fun to do it with either ribbon or um, fiber and just tie those. But what you're essentially doing is making a tiny little pocket. So you're going to continue that. Here I've got one going to where there I've got my five pockets. Now this one is t attached to a, the start of a book that I've covered, and this is the same way I did the one for Bana, is I've covered my book the way I did on the first day of Christmas um, with the recipe box, the gingerbread recipe box where I covered the paper and showed you how to do that um, on that first day of Christmas. So you'll you know make it the dimensions you want. If you want it to be gatefold, you'd make two of these. Now this is kind of something different. This is on a trade mini that I've got um, to get shipped out of here real quick. And it's going to have some parts that attach to this. So this looks kind of funky because it's short, but there's parts that add on to this to make my cover. But anyway, this gives me the binding. And in this binding, you can put just about anything. You could do um, photo mats that just slip in there. And they just stay in by pressure. You could do a couple of those in each of these pockets. So here's a different one. And see, you could put two of those in that pocket. You could put a couple of tags in that pocket and they just stick in there. You could probably put four or five tags in there. You can take an envelope, decorate it up. It's cut in half. Pop that in there. And then, you know, then you can add tags that maybe don't want to slip into that skinny little if they're decorated then little tags or um, photo mats could go into that envelope. Or you can take little mini paper bags. Don't have to fold them or anything. Those could pop in. That way you could put stuff inside those. So you could add pretty much anything into each of these. Um, so we're just going to pretend that there's more on this one. Um, but that's how easy that is to create a way, um, a, different, a little bit different kind of binding to hold your pages in place. And it's very interactive because they're very removable. Um, and they just slip in there and hold in there by pressure. If you wanted them deeper, you'd have to adjust you know, me your measurements. But to get the one inch deep little pockets, you're doing that scoring at the one inch. Um, super easy, fun, easy way to do um, a little bit different kind of mini book. So um, anyway, that's how easy it is. Just doing an accordion fold and attaching it to a book. You could also attach it. Um, in other ways as well to other books. So um, that's about it. Boy, this is a super quick one. So anyway, this uh, again was my 11th day of Christmas. Boy, I'm getting tired. Got almost mo most of my Christmas shopping do done. I got a little bit more to do um, online um, and get some of that stuff. Um, so it's here by, by Christmas. So, and I did wear the same colored shoes. Thanks for all your comments about my funny shoes um, the day before. Um, anyway, but go to my blog at followingthepapertrail.blogspot.com. Um, if you're not already a follower, I'm blown away by how many have signed up to be a follower. Um, go ahead and get signed up. Leave a comment. I have to wade through all these comments and get this all put together so I can do the drawing. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be showing you the, the mini album. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the mini album that I'm going to be giving away. I'm actually going to do the, the, the drawing on Sunday so you have opportunity to... Um, uh, get on my blog. I have to teach a quilt class on Saturday. <laughs> Gosh, got to do the real job. Um, so anyway, uh, go to my blog, uh, become a follower if you're not already, and we'll get y'all signed up to be in that drawing. Um, and I will also have, um, some, probably a couple other drawings, uh, a couple other things that I'll be giving away on that, um, uh, on that drawing on Sunday. So anyway, and I'll get the video up as soon as I get the drawing done. So thanks much for watching and have a super wonderful and safe holiday season. And I'll see you again tomorrow.